What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here. Um, and yeah, I wanted to address this AI thing. There's obviously been a lot of back and forth regarding AI art with Wizards of the Coast. We've seen a variety of things, and I wanted to wait until some of this kind of shook out because there's obviously been a lot of discourse and back and forth regarding AI uh, in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I want to speak out of turn. So, give you a little bit of timeline, right? Over the summer, we had Big B's Glory of the Giants release, and we found that several pieces of the art within Big B's Glory of the Giants was created by AI, or at least altered, or not created, I'm sorry. It was drawn by an artist, but then it was basically given like an AI Passover by an art director or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, long story short with that, Wizards of the Coast took that down. Let me see, they took all those images off of D&D Beyond and now has replaced them with new art, uh, which I actually kind of like some of it a lot better. Uh, and when the current print run, it may already be done, but whenever the current print run of Bigby's Glory of the Giants ends, the second print run will be the one that does not contain any AI art. And more recently, Wizards of the Coast posted a image. Uh, this is Magic to the Gathering side of the house um, that basically showed off a couple of cards and a lot of people immediately called it out as being AI art. Uh, reminder that this is after Wizards of the Coast came out and made a statement, Wizards of the Coast, D&D, Magic to the Gathering, about how you know they're not really using AI art. They stand with humans. And again, they said that this art, nothing to do with AI, this specific Magic the Gathering piece of art. <laughs> and then they also had to say, oops, actually, it does. So I'm going to show you a Polygon article. I think it does a pretty good job of outlining everything. So here it is. <clears throat> it says, Wizards of the Coast admits using AI art after banning AI art. So this right here um, is the image in question. This one, it's not the art of the cards. The card art is created by, you know, Wizards of the Coast, uh, Magic the Gathering artists. It's the background, and you can see in some spots where things are strange. But it says, Magic the Gathering publisher Wizards of the Coast has been forced to admit it published a marketing image for the game featuring, quote, some AI components, despite an initial insistence that the art was created by humans and not AI. Wizards of the Coast had banned the use of AI artwork and its products in 2023 after AI-generated artwork appeared in the D&D sourcebook. We were talking about that. Those are the Big B's Glory of the Giants and caused an outcry. The image, since deleted, was posted on Twitter by the official Magic the Gathering account on January 4th. It showed five magic cards resting on a valve-powered device next to a pressure gauge in a brass and wood-filled steampunk laboratory uh, setting. It's positively shocking how good these lands look in retro frame, the post read. Many fans were quick to point out elements in the image that bore the hallmarks of generative AI, in particular, difficulty rendering fine details in a consistent way, around bunches of cables, for example, or the digital pressure gauge, again, highlighted here in this image. <clears throat> we understand the confusion by fans, given the style being different than the card art, but we stand by our previous statement, the publisher replied, in another since deleted post, this art was created by humans and not AI. This is the important part where they flat out came out and said, we stand by what we said, this is human created art. That was, I think, on again, the fourth. But a few days later, Wizards of the Coast acknowledged that it had been mistaken. Well, we made a mistake earlier when we said that the marketing image was posted, uh, was not created using AI, the Magic account said in a statement posted to Twitter on January 7th. As you, our diligent community, pointed out, it looks like some AI components that are now popping up in industry standard tools like Photoshop crept into our marketing creative, even if a human did the work to create the overall image. The publisher continued, quote, while the art came from a vendor, it's on us to make sure that we are living up to our promise to support the amazing human ingenuity that makes magic great. We already made clear that we require artists, writers, and creatives contributing to the magic TCG to from refrain from using AI generative tools to create final magic products. Now we're evaluating how we work with vendors on creative beyond our products, 
like these marketing images to make sure that we're living up to those values. In a separate statement posted to the same, the same day on the Magic website, Wizards said that it wants to, quote, get better at understanding whether and how AI is used in the creative process. The company added, we can't promise to be perfect in such a fast evolving space, especially with generative AI becoming standard in tools such as Photoshop, but our aim is to always come down on the side of human-made art and artists. The incident drew so much attention because Wizards of the Coast, a significant employer of artists and illustrators, especially in the case of Magic Card Art, has been repeatedly been called out for using generative AI art in its materials and has repeatedly distanced itself from the technology. Again, quoting what we talked about earlier, after AI art was spotted in Big News Glory of the Giants, Wizards said it hadn't been aware that the artist used AI tools and that it would revise its artist guidelines to make it clear that artists must refrain from using AI art generation, which they did make that, right? Wizards then issued a more definitive ban on AI art in December after fans claimed to spot evidence of AI generation and promotional artwork for a magic tie-in with Tomb Raider. We require artists, writers, and creatives contributing to the Magic TCG to refrain from using generative tools to create final Magic products, it said at the time. Some artists who work for the publisher show their frustration as its repeated failure to curb the use of AI in image creation. Long-standing Magic artist Dave Raposo publicly split with the company after its initial denial that AI had been used. And just like that, poof, I'm just done working for Wizards of the Coast. You can't say you stand against the, this, then blatantly use AI to promote your products. Email sent, goodbye to you all, he said in a tweet. But the incident, especially the evident confusion at Wizards of the Coast over whether AI had been used in the creation of the image, shows just how hard it is going to be for companies working with large numbers of freelance artists to stay on top of this issue as generative AI tools become ever more widespread. So again, just the facts on that, right? Wizards of the Coast has come out after the Big Beast thing, that was kind of a big catalyst, right? People drew it. Generative AI tools were used to alter and adjust. They kind of look a little off to the naked eye, and people called them out on that in the summer of 2023. Wizards of the Coast then went on to make official statements, and again, more so later in December, officially banning the usage of AI, making statements and things like that. Then they post this image on the 4th of January, showing this off people call them out for ai art they say no it's not and then they say oops actually yes it is uh and then again they've taken all of those original posts down um it is true though i mean it is it's going to cause an impact to the world of magic the gathering and art like this because again you're coming out and saying you're on the side of humans and artists and then people see you posting AI generative tools for your marketing, it obviously sends a confusing message. And again, that's going to discourage people as, as we saw with Dave Raposa quitting Magic the Gathering and just leaving it entirely. And unfortunately, that's going to be things that happen. You're going to see people quit because Wizards of the Coast can't seem to figure it out. Now, and I also agree with that last statement that was said there, Polygon, uh, especially, um, but the incident, especially the evident confusion at Wizards of the Coast over whether AI had been used in the creation of the image shows how hard it's going to be for companies working with large numbers of freelance artists to stay on top of this issue, uh, especially as the AI tools become more widespread. <clears throat> and that is a very real thing, right? If you look at two, three years ago, even maybe more than that, right? AI was, you know, if you go five, probably five years ago, AI seemed like science fiction, right? Now we live in a world where uh, chat GPT exists. Several different search engines have AI technology based in them where you can just like, when you're searching, you can obviously type in your, you know, your search engine or whatever, even browser that you're using. And there's AI built into the browser. There's now AI, you know, you can take things like chat GPT and talk to it. There's this whole Scarlet thing where it's, you know, you talk to the AI, you can ask it questions, and it kind of can answer. I mean, it's basically chat GPT, but in a spoken form, but either way. And the fact that this, again, generative AI art tools, generative AI tools in general, are suffusing their way through a lot of different aspects of the world that we live in. And again, as time goes on, and these things are iterated on and iterated on, yeah, it's gonna be, right now, you can kind of tell. You look at it, it looks a little bit off. Things look a little bit noticeable. Too many fingers, fine detail. 
but also think about how CGI in something like movies and TV shows have advanced, right? The uncanny valley of things like the Polar Express and other movies like that was a very real thing a few years ago, but now CGI and, and computer animation, all that stuff has improved drastically from where it was just a few years ago. So if these kind of AI art tools continue to find their way and are iterated on, and again, obviously some of them can just kind of learn and stuff on their own, we're probably going to get to a point where it may almost be undistinguishable from the naked eye. And I've actually seen that, you know, in uh, a lot of the comments, actually, when I made the videos covering the AI art uh, issue regarding Bigby's Glory of the Giants, there were several people that were like, in a couple of years, you won't even be able to tell. And I've seen some people show me different mid-journey art from like a mid-journey three to whatever it's at now. I think it's at four, maybe five. And just the differences in how the quality of these things has changed. So yeah, there's going to be, it's going to be very hard to determine, you know, especially again, you're using contractors, right? If you contract something, freelance something uh, from, you know, you've an artist to do work either on your D&D &D book, on a card art, um, it's going to be increasingly difficult to tell, like, is the entire thing created with AI? Maybe not. Maybe it's mostly created by hand, but then has like AI touch-ups and things like that. Who knows? Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how the creative space evolves as AI continues to grow. But yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate. Wizards of the Coast, as I, we've talked about, continues to seem to stumble over things left and right, <clears throat> right? They're trying to make improvements, but, you know, things seem to keep slipping through the cracks. So who knows what will happen? Um... I also know that people have started, unrelated to this, but people have started to receive their copies of the Deck of Many Things book. And it seems like, from what I've heard, in some instances, not all of the quality issues were solved. So we'll have to see what 2024 brings for Wizards of the Coast, but we're only nine days into it so far. And we've already had an AI art scandal. Who knows what else will continue for the rest of this year. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I feel like most people are kind of, again, on the side of the artists in these, but also, we, I, like I said, it's a very real thing that you need to recognize that it's gonna become increasingly harder to determine whether something's created by an artist or something created by a computer. And yeah, I don't know where that ultimately is going to lead us in the world of creativity, right? Could you start to see if people do something, especially like like what I do where I make videos like this, where at a point like it switches over to like a VTuber style model and the content and the voice and the dialogue of it is just all AI generated. I bet you if you probably look around here on YouTube, you could probably find something that's basically that. I mean, we already see things where like on social media where people will use a voice changer to change the way they sound. And then obviously if you were to just do that over an overlay with like a talking head, that could end up being what the future of our content looks like. And again, it probably will be a little off, especially when it comes to um, the personality of the person talking and like and providing input and opinions. But it's hard to say where the future will take us. So again, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Again, I'm not really a magic player at all so this doesn't affect me too much but it is tabletop related it is wizards of the coast related so i thought it was worth covering it especially now that it seems like the truth is out there where it was kind of it, it you know if you look at it to me it feels like it was pretty obviously had some ai art usage in there but we now officially have the you know confirmation that it was wizards of the coast apologized and then pulled down all that imagery but, you know, to some instances and to some folks, the damage is already done. And that's unfortunately going to hurt, you know, the magic card art scene in the future. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.